Alright guys, for this video we're going to be building the new exhaust for the Dakota and getting the oil drain done just so that the engine is kind of ready to be put back in the truck. I'm going to start on this side here because it's going to be the shortest and easiest side. I'm going to get everything kind of done um, and ran up into this Y pipe and then once that is like kind of tacked into position I'll give you guys little updates on it here and there. Uh, and then I'll start working on this side and getting it to reach. Well, that thing's about to fall over. Now, this is the most important side to get done because this here I can do whatever I need to to get it to reach. But I'm kind of limited on space here because I don't want it to have to wrap all the way over and then back. I want it to just be able to sit right here and just have a simple U going up. I'm just going to give you guys little updates here and there. Once I've kind of got everything positioned pretty well, I'll start getting some maybe time lapse stuff going on. But just to kind of keep things kind of short and I'm running out of memory card space. I'm just going to start working on this, start getting stuff tacked up, and uh, hopefully by the end of this video we've got a new exhaust system and an engine that is ready to be dropped back in, and uh, hopefully soon we can go make some more power with this thing. Everything is tacked up. I've even got the turbo just resting on it so you guys can kind of get a decent visual of it. Um, but yeah, this looks pretty awesome, I think. This side is fully welded onto that, and then this is sort of welded. This is a decent belt weld on it, and kind of the same thing around. So enough to kind of hold everything into place well enough to stick the turbo on it and just kind of take a little peek at what is going on here. So, yeah, I think it looks pretty awesome. I am going to pull it off, I'm going to get the turbo off of it, then pull the pipes off, fully weld it bolt it back up, get it completely snug down because it'll be the last time it comes on and off for, you know, a while. And then I'll get the turbo bolted all the way down with a gasket in it because it'll probably be the last time I take the turbo on and off. And, uh, oh, actually before I put the turbo back on I want to make some sort of like support strap here just to keep things from wobbling around. And then I'll put the turbo on and then uh, I guess we'll start on the downpipe. This hasn't taken near as long as I expected it to take. I thought this was going to take a few hours to get this far and it only took maybe one hour which is uh, pretty cool. So I'm going to get this welded all the, pulled off, get it welded all the way up and then get a support strap that bolts up to the block somewhere on it and then I'll get the turbo on and we'll start working on the downpipe and then actually no I got to do the uh, oil drain before I do the the downpipe. I forgot about that. So we'll do the uh, oil drain after the support bracket is done and then we'll do the downpipe and kind of get that portion of it finished. I need to get the alternator bolted back on so that I can kind of not run into it with the uh, downpipe because the alternator pulley sits kind of here. So I'm going to have to figure a way to get the uh, downpipe around that. All the mandrel bent stuff, it looks really, really clean. I am very excited about this. And I'll be able to run a pod filter for once. Isn't that cool? There's no wastegate in front of here. The wastegate's going to be going right here I think and then getting dumped back into the uh, and dumped back into the downpipe because I'm not a big fan of the sound so I'm gonna get this pulled off weld it up get it back on and then we'll just go from there alright the entire Y pipe is completely welded and bolted 100% of the way up to the exhaust manifolds and I've got the turbo sitting on here that's all bolted up it's got a gasket in the inlet um, and yeah, this looks really, really good, and it's all pretty well packed in here. It's, there's nothing sticking way too far out or anything. Um, so now I need to make a support strap, which I've got a piece of steel strapping right there. I'm going to bolt it down to this bolt here and just weld it to the back of here. Just something to keep this from wobbling around as much to kind of help stiffen stuff up. And then once I have that done, I'm probably going to do the waste gate and I've been looking at it and I've got this pipe here and of course the wastegate there and I'm just gonna hole saw a hole in there weld this pipe in I'm gonna cut it shorter and then the wastegate I'll have facing kind of upside down like this under here bolted up to the pipe that'll be coming out and it'll kind of sit in this little gap right here inside of my pulleys and then the dump coming back out of it will run back up into the downpipe which I will be doing the downpipe once I've got the oil drain and the wastegate and everything else situated the downpipe is basically just going to kinda run out of here and over 
And then once it's kind of come out of the way of like the serpentine belt and stuff, I'm going to have to run it down and then over this way and then back here where it stops, I'm going to have a two bolt flange and I'll make a second piece of the downpipe to run under the truck because if I don't break it up towards, you know, the very end where it starts to go underneath the firewall, I am not going to be able to remove it without having the entire engine out of the truck. So I have to break it up into two pieces. I've got two two bolt flanges. Uh, that I ordered just for that purpose so there will be that one there and then there will be another flange once it gets over the transmission cross member to break it up even more that way the exhaust is real easy to remove and work on or whatever I decide to do and I'm not really worried about the serpentine belt getting warm or anything because it's going to constantly be moving and have air traveling over to suck heat it's not like it's sitting in one place now if it was if I had like a hose sitting this close to the exhaust, I would be worried, but the serpentine belt, it's moving, it's going to constantly be transferring heat to the air and to the pulleys, and it's not like it's going to be sitting in one spot, just getting hot in one area, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. If it is, I can just heat wrap this little section right here. Same with the downpipe, it's going to be sitting pretty close, but all of the serpentine stuff isn't going to be a problem. The alternator might, but I'll just kind of deal with it later if it ends up melting stuff. I don't think heat is going to be much of an issue this engine bay isn't tight it's and this thing isn't going to be running that hot i don't think i'm going to get to work on the strap get the wastegate and the oil drain done and then we'll start working on the downpipe and once the downpipe is done i'll have to go through all my stuff but i think after that it'll be time to put the engine back in i'm not going to put the engine back in in this video but it'll be ready to be put back in by the end of this video so I'm going to get working on this and uh, I'll get back with you guys with some more updates. Alright, I did get the wastegate done and I'm working on the oil drain right now. But I just wanted to show you guys since I got the pan off. You can see all my rods. None of them are bent yet. So we are all good. And then if you zoom way in, and I don't even know if the pistons reach this far down. It looks like they do. But uh, where was it? This one right here you can still see. How nice the cylinder walls on this engine are and there's no sludge anywhere look at, I mean everything is pretty clean other than some of the dirt that's on that but that's probably for me flipping the pan upside down a couple times but uh, yeah like I said I got the uh, turbo bolted back on and I got the um, wastegate welded up there so I want to get this pan done, get it bolted back on. That is a new oil pan gasket I put that on uh, last time I had this engine out. So I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to reuse it. And uh, I also don't think I showed you guys this. There's a 10 a.m. cap that I put on the old drain. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not going to weld it shut or anything. Just in case I do something else with it. There's no need to weld it shut when it's taking his cap it off and not worry about it. Nobody's going to see it anyway except for those of you who watch this video. So I'll finish this, get everything bolted back up, flip it back over. I'll get the oil lines ran since I'll have the bung done, which isn't going to take very long. And then I think I'm going to clean up and call it for the night. I've been working on this thing for six or seven hours straight. It's definitely been fun. This went a lot faster and a lot easier than I expected it to. Um, but I'm definitely ready to pack it up for the night and go take a shower and clean all this dust off me that I've got from the grinder and whatnot. So I'm going to go working on this and give you guys uh, one final update. I am really tired. I have been at this thing literally all day, but I got almost everything finished on it. I am going to end the video here. In the next video, uh, I will continue with the rest of the stuff, but I think this is a pretty good stopping point. So I got the bong welded onto the oil pan right there on the corner. I need to get a 90 degree AN fitting here but for now hopefully this one will work there's a little kink in it there but uh, just for now that'll hopefully do the job that I can get a 90 in there and that will getting a 90 will kind of pull the hose a little bit further away from the exhaust as well so that'll take care of that I got the feed line on so I've got this little elbow here and then the line is on the other side of the engine now. I'm going to end up zip tying it up to something maybe. It kind of chills right there though. So I don't know. Maybe I'll tie it into the spark plugs or something. Just so it doesn't end up slipping and get into stuff. Um, but I actually just took a socket and just spun this thing around. Left the plug in. Spun it the other way so that the hose comes out to the other side. 
Uh, so the feed and the drain are completely solved other than possibly changing the AN fitting at the bottom of the line. But everything else is done there. I think I already showed you guys the wastegate is done. This is all welded up. Um, it's all bolted on and everything. Got a gasket in it. Turbo is all bolted up. Got a gasket in it so that's finished. None of this stuff has to come back off. Uh, there's a strap I've already showed you guys there to kind of stiffen everything up. It also made it a lot easier to bolt the exhaust back on because I was able to kind of sit the cups in a place, stick that bolt in there that kind of held everything in. Um, here's my clearance on all of my my pulleys and stuff and the belt. Like I said before, I don't think the belt is going to have any heat issues because of the fact that it's constantly moving. It shouldn't be a problem. The entire exhaust system is done other than the downpipe or the front half of the downpipe and the wastegate dump. I think everything else is done on this thing. I need to do some coolant line stuff for the heater and the turbo because this turbo has coolant fittings so I'm going to use them. But that can be done while it's in the truck. It doesn't have to be done right now. And I could technically fire up, fire this thing up and run it for a little while without coolant in the thing. Not for very long, for maybe half a minute to a minute. And then I have to figure something out for the outlet here. Uh, I have an elbow that comes with it, but it's at a bit too aggressive of an angle. And it's also a little bit long, so I don't know if I'll be able to use it. But I did find out that wastegate flanges fit on that. So I've got this thing here and then I have another wastegate flange somewhere out here or in the house that I can use to make an outlet pipe for this thing and not even have to worry about figuring something out or welding something to this. I can just make my own. Uh, also I fixed a coolant leak back here. I, I might have mentioned that also. Uh, but I fixed that coolant leak because the bolts were too long so I won't be leaking coolant. We've got all the exhaust done. There's only a couple more things left to do before this engine goes back in and uh, it's ready to run again which is really cool I didn't think I was gonna get this far in one night um, but it's definitely good to have all of this done already because now I can start doing other stuff so that's gonna be the end of the video guys I wanna thank you very much for watching if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet subscribe like the video come back we are getting very close to having this thing done and running again, and once it's running again and I've got everything dialed, it's going to be going back to the dyno. We're going to be turning it up and uh, seeing how much power we can get out of this thing. So that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later.